Hi, boys and girls. Hi. How many of you wear hats? You wear a hat? Why do you wear a hat? To protect your head. To, to, pro to protect your head from the and, sun? And um, for your ears to stay warm. And for your ears to stay warm. Do you know why I wear a hat? To keep all of my hair in. <laughs> no? I know I don't have any. You don't have to let us know. <laughs> So, I want to play a guessing game today. And I want to tell me if you can, I want you to tell me who wears this kind of hat, right? So, who wears this hat? Raven. Raven. Oh, thank you, Abby. Ravens. <laughs> but what, who are the Ravens? They're a baseball uh, football, football team. Football team. So, a football player will wear this hat? They usually yeah, they yeah. take they their heads. Easily. Right, yes. So they don't get a concussion. Right? Let's go. Oreos! Oreos! Who? But which, which player on the Oreos? The batter. Yes, that's baseball. Let's see if you know this one. Right? Motorcycle. Motorcycle. Right. Have you ridden a motorcycle before? No. Uh, Can hit branches. Yes, they wear to protect themselves. What Bi about this? Bi Bi bicycle? Bicycle. How many of you have a bicycle? Do you wear your hat? Yeah. Yes, it's a helmet. Yes, your helmet? Sorry. Hat, helmet, tomato, tomato. Let's move on. <laughs> what about this? Swimmer. Swimmer. Yeah, why did. To keep his hair dry and so and he can move to fast. Yeah. To keep his hair yeah. Dry. yeah. So he can move smoothly through the water. What about this one? <laughs> Just to keep warm. Just to keep warm. Someone who's playing in the snow. Not a robber. <laughs> I'm happy that you know that, but <laughs> yes, someone who skis. Have you ever seen someone ski? Uh -huh. Yes, they I wear this. Right, okay. Well, I want you to tell me, who wears this? Jesus. What is it? It's a crown of thorns. It's made it's, out of thorns. Yeah. It hurt. It's got to hurt? I'm just tough. <laughs> <laughs> it is a crown of thorns, right? And why does he wear this? Because they make him. Because they made him? No, because they, no, they put it on him. Right. And, uh, and, it, and it works for like your hat. So if it is a crown of thorns, what does that make Jesus? The, the, uh, uh, king. the king. And so who wears this? A king. All right. Let me not embarrass myself. Let me put it on someone whose head can fit. <laughs> right? Who wears that? A, a queen. king. A queen. A, and do you know what a king does? Yes, the ruler of the world. Or the, or the country or the no, no, no. city. Right. The king wears a crown. He wears a crown. So what are some of the things you would expect of a king? Yes? He tells everybody what to do. He's a bossy man. He's a bossy man. He's sometimes mean. Sometimes he's mean. Yes, Abby? Yeah, he stands on the step and just says, <laughs> right? Um, Go ahead. Yeah, he just sits there in his throne all day. Sits on his throne. Sits on his throne all day. Lazy. Ask everyone what they want. Go tell this person to do this. So he gives this. orders. Or yeah. yeah. <coughs> now, that's a very good image of a king. But if Jesus is our king, right? Is he that the kind? Is he that kind of king? No, he's the king of peace. He's the king of peace. Yes. And he's loving. And he's loving. Nice. Nice. Caring. Caring. Kind. Kind. Well, there was a Bible reading today, and there were two criminals on a cross on the side of Jesus, and one of the criminals asked Jesus to forgive him since he is a king. And he said, remember me when you come into your kingdom. What do you think Jesus did? He would, 
yes, today you will be with me in paradise. So he forgave him, right? Is Jesus the kind of king who would be rude to people? No. Is he the kind of king that would love people? Yes. Is he the kind of king that would encourage you to be peaceful with people? Yes. Is he the kind of king that will forgive others? Yes. Yes. So if we are serving Christ as king, because we're celebrating Christ as king today, what kind of people should we be? Who should we be? We should be nice. We should be nice? Should what else? Be the nice people of Jesus. A disciple. We should be kind. Anything we else? Disciples. We should be disciples. Yes, brother. We Laura should spread the peace. We should spread the peace. And what should come out of our hearts? Love. Love. Love and kindness. So, as we celebrate Christ the King and we look forward to Thanksgiving, if there is only one last piece of pumpkin pie, and you want it, and your sister wants it, what are you going to do? I don't have a sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, brother. You have to be so technical. She doesn't have a sister, so she's not going to oh, share it. <laughs> oh, your brother, KK. <laughs> oh, your brother. You going to split it and share it? Right. And after Thanksgiving, you're going to Right. And you're just going to have a wonderful time, right? There's not going to be any fighting. No fight. Right? Because Jesus is the king of what? Peace. Peace. Right? There will be forgiveness because Jesus is the king of love. He reigns. Where is God's throne? What? Up there. Up there? Up there. There's, somewhere, there's somewhere in here where the king reigns. Yes. In our hearts. Where is Jesus' throne? Where? In my heart. Say, in my heart. In my heart. God's throne God. is in my heart. And if his throne is in our hearts, we're supposed to be a people of peace and love. I don't know if you know this, and this is the third week in a row, I'm going to help you sing it, but I want to because I like this song as a child. You know that song, There's a Fly Flown High? No. no? Here's something we learn in school, right? There is a fly flown high from the castle of my heart, from the castle of my heart, from the castle of my heart. There is a fly flown high from the castle of my heart, and the king is a resident there. So fly it high in the sky, let the whole world know, let the whole world know, let the whole world know. So fly it high in the sky, let the whole world know that the king is a resident there. Where is the king a resident? In your heart. In your heart. Yes. How can he live in your heart? How can he live in your heart? That's a philosophical question for another day. <laughs> let's, I'll, I'll explain it to you afterwards, but that's a beautiful question. Yes. Come on, let's stand up and tell the congregation. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is King of Kings, is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And Lord of Lords. He's the King of Peace. He's the King of Peace. The King of Love. The King of Love. The King of Forgiveness. The King of Forgiveness. And He expects us to do the same. And He expects us to do the same. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, boys and girls.